the old rusty van sexual oh yeah in the two mandingos is back oh yeah oh. you know what makes sense You're some guy, Richie. Bonnie lads on tour. Once again. Oh, oh yeah. Back out with the two Chris Dingoes. Welcome back to the Blot Outdoor Show, guys. Yep, I'm with my two mates, the two Chrises, the deer. Gonna do what's it called, Chris? The cold deal, cold deal horseshoe. Get your words out. <laughs> cold deal, cold deal horseshoe. Young Chris has been the man who's picked this route today. Nice long one, mate. So I'm following him. Yeah, we're not wild camping today, and we're not we're not van camping either. Like I said, <coughs> doing something a little bit different, just for a one-off. I'll tell you more about that later on, and the reason why. But we've been looking forward to this all week. It's going to be more of the same, guys. We've got some food to cook, loads of shit to talk, and obviously the world famous Waski of You. Oh, yeah. You better believe it, Mandingos. Okay, then, guys, I'll bring you back when we get further on the hike. Right, Bill. Like oh, uh, Why were Bonnie? Uh, <laughs> right, folks, it's going to get windy as we're hiking further up so i'm going to play a little bit music to block the wind you know what i'm talking about lice
guys, we're at the summit of Seal. Our third, our third, our third bit I just did. There she is guys, the old trusty Van Dingo. Oh, I've never been so glad to see my old van. Okay then folks, we're back in the old van sexual. We're now going to make our way to where we're going to spend the night. We've built a camping pod, something different. I know we said we're going to sleep in the van, but we thought we'd treat ourselves. Go to the pod, have a good laugh. Looking forward to it, lads. Buzzing for us. Buzzing. Especially after that. After yes. them, after what we've done? Five win rights. Five right. win rights. Right. Right. <laughs> Rough. It's been brutal. It I'm been so brutal. unfit. These two skinny lads are way ahead of me. But it's done now. We're going to go at the pod. See you, Mandingo, soon. Right. Oh, yes. <laughs> what the bonnie well, here we are folks we're just getting cozy home sweet home in the old pod sexual <laughs> yeah do, didn't you just starting to warm up it was freezing when we we're going here i think it's the fact we were soaked and wet and all like. right we'll soak right through so we're going to have a few cans now i think chris has already made a start definitely first one i yeah. am shocked two lice I'll show you what I've got. I've got, I've got to lead the way, the vanguard, you know what I mean? The vanguard. I've got four cans of Storford Press. <laughs> Pussy Nailer is on the blood, the Bloodweiser. <laughs> <laughs> Young Chrissy Nutton is on the Madri. You know it makes sense. Spanish lager made in England. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. As good as Carla. Go and have a can and I'll bring you Mandingo's back soon and I'll show you what food we're going to cook later on. Chef tonight, right. young Chris, you know what makes sense. Got a sense. nice race ground there, haven't we? You better believe it. Oh. Like. It's no point me singing there. All this talk and getting old It's bringing me down my load Like a cat in a bag Waiting to drown This time I'm coming down Now the Drugs don't work, they just make you worse. And I know I'll see your face again. Why are you some Bob Geldof? Some Bob Geldof. <laughs> some Bob Dylan. Why are you some Ed Sheeran? Oh, 
All right, man, then goes. I've just popped up the old shower block. Gonna have a nice shower, get nice and clean. While the shower's heating up, I might as well answer a quick question. Why not? A few people have been asking, um, when I'm doing these stealth camps and I'm sitting there by myself, have I ever fallen asleep? Um, well, yes, I have. Two times. The first time was on the, the camp behind the police station. I was just sitting, leaning against the fence. I had a few whiskies and I just nodded off. When I woke up, it wasn't too late. I, I, I can't remember, I think it might have been about one in the morning. I just didn't know where I was. For about two minutes, I was like, like what the hell, where am I? And then I come round. So that was one time. Uh, the second time I did it was when I done the, the stealth camp under the wind turbine just a few weeks ago. <laughs> I fell asleep on that one. And when I woke up, it was like, it was after four in the morning, 4.15, something like that. And I still had the coping to do. So I woke up, I was all dizzy. And I know people like to watch the coping in the videos. So I sorted myself out, cooked me food. So on that video, if you go back and watch it, when I'm sitting eating my food, it's like after 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> I'm just, I had to get that bit in because people complain. Some people complain, they say, oh, you didn't do the cooking bit. So anyway, yep, yeah, that's the answer to that question, guys. Two times I've fell asleep on recording. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. But you know the score, man, dingoes. When I'm sitting having a whiskey, that's always going to happen. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get a nice shower. This is heated up. Steamy in here. Time for a shower. Oh, yeah. You know it makes sense. How was it saying? Baby's good to me, you know oh, she's, she's happy. As can be, you know she said so I'm in love with her and I feel fine Right guys, young Chris is going to start cooking soon Let's have a look, see what we've got Chris, do you want to point that out mate? We've got some red onions and Some smoked cheese with jalapeno mm. slices To get on top of our burgers We've got some brioche buns. Yes. And we've got some little mince kofta skewers that I made as well. Mince. And we've got matron. garlic and onion herb dip. We've got some Cajun style chicken breast steaks. Oh, oh yeah. And some sour cream and chard dip. Lice. Right then. Are you going to get cooking, Chris? Let's get on with it, aye. You There's get the cooking. Old pansexual over there. Oh, that's the big pansexual. <laughs> right. You do the cooking. And nice. I'll do the watching. Why are the pans sizzling? <laughs> it's not even hot yet, is it? We'll get them all in. Oh, there, it's starting to get hot. Just put three on for now. We'll give them a flip now. I'm turning them back out again later. Why, well, you're some genius, you oh, can't be. Gordon Ramsay, Christ almighty. Yeah. Right. Why are you funny? Nearly done, mate. Alright, get the cheese on. Have you want the coat? Yeah, on the board. Not the mom. Boomskies. Oh. Nice, Mara. Beautiful. Not bad. Yes. Time for a wrong one. Chef Nutton does it again. Mm. 
All right, lads. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Mm. And that's spicy cheese as well. Ah, right, spicy cheese. Jalapeno, is it? Tremendous, guys. Well done, like. Oh. Mm -hmm. At least you know the coach is yeah. the well done man in what? Like mine a bit medium there, aren't I? Mm. Got some kebabs on the way now. Mm. Very nice glass. Better believe it. Mm. Sausage burger. No, that one. Sausage burger. Jalapeno cheese, man. Oh yeah. Some Steven Spielberg. <laughs> All the real basket in there, out the way. In the bin diesel. In the bin diesel. Oh, you know what I'm talking about. Right. Oh, yes, some Kevin Costner. Fast. Oh, I'm fast. You've got to be careful, man. You don't want to splash out of that. Doom. Yes. Chicken burger. Cajun chicken, Mandingo. Cajun chicken, mate. Huh? Lovely jubbly. Is the same the doodoy. You know, it makes sense. Right. Two lice. So, what's cooking now, mate? A few little kebabs, homemade. Homemade kebabs. Mince, spices, herbs. Much together on a stick. What I possibly done wrong? <laughs> Homemade kebabs, Mara. Aye. What did you put in them like? No, minced beef, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, turmeric, mixed herbs, and a bit of salt and pepper. And mm. some chili flakes. Kind of concoction that like, innit? Right. Maybe one of the call you the shoe bomber. Slightly into the stick. Wow. Mm -hmm. right. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Well, mate, your cooking will ding dang do for this man dingo. Chin chin. Chin chin. Right. I don't like touching sausages, mate. You better garlic, don't you? Hey, Bonnie. Beautiful. Ho oh, oh. ho. You know what time it is, Mandingos? Yes. Waski time. Waski. And this is what we've got this week. Bal Veni. Bal double Veni. wood. 12-year-old single malt Scotch Waski. You know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. Do you want to get the old famous cup, Dingo, know. Mandingo? But it can be already. That is certainly the plan, Dingo. Oh, oh. you better believe it, Mandingos. All righty. In the, in the famous that. cup. In the old famous cup of Rooney. I'll get the fish nozzle in, mate, because I'm, um, you know, supposed to be the expert. The expert. <laughs> Make some expert. Well, first of all, I want to say a mass thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> a massive thank you to Ross McEwen from Inverness, from Inverness for this lovely bottle of whiskey. Thank you, mate. It's very much appreciated. Very My much. man friend. Cheers, Ross. We've had a canny bit of it already, haven't we? Two lice. Two lice. Young Chris is out for the count. Young Chris, how are you? Young Chris is there. Oh, Chris. <laughs> Tell him talking big, drinking too much whiskey, too many candingos. <laughs> all Chris is out for the count. Young Chris is here as well. Still standing. Way. Get the old snack of on it. I take a sweet vanilla taste. And a definite gag. The sherry. Get your snack of in there, Mandingo. 
like strong fruit smell. Smells a bit orangey. Orangey, maybe. Orange fruit, maybe. Yeah. Maybe, possibly. I'll be the judge of that. I am getting a fruity thing going on. Now it's just swig that round, spill half it on my leg. All right. On my doctor. Your leg will taste it first. Go on. Does it smell like? It has got like orange thing right. going on. Fruity, I mean, fruity. it's took you to see it, but mm. now I can smell it. Expect mm -hmm. it. Anyway, that's enough of the sniffing. Let's, Let's go on the, the tasting. tasting. Right. right. Mm. That's got a lovely, nice, soft and sweet taste about it. A little bit sherry with a few spices, just the right amount of spices. Absolutely spot on. That's a bit spicy straight away. It is like it's a bit oaky as well. Getting a bit oak taste. Mm -hmm. Well, it was a bit woody. Cold. What's the top? It's double wood. This is the Balvenny double wood. Double wood. Twelve year old. So yeah, you are going to get the oakiness. Very stress. strong. You better believe you are, man. Ding Scotch wood. whiskey. It's got this wild bar There we go. Another taste. Uh -huh. I'm also getting sherry and the aftertaste and I'm getting a little bit nutty, I'm getting a nutty a nuttiness coming through Aye, Your name? sort of nuts Chris Nutton What sort of nuts? Mm -hmm. Not them sort of nuts <laughs> Just a nice lovely Peanuts? Nutty taste Chestnuts? No, just nuts mate Just nuts A bit orangey as well I'd smell as well it's a mm -hmm. bit fruity I've just spilled some of it there oh. well I think we're waffling on too much guys it's We've been a long of it. it's been a long oh. day hiking we're absolutely buggered Knackered. we we it haven't been on a good watch, hike like. for like over a year we've been doing obviously a lot of wild camping but it's only an hour up exactly. sometimes a half an hour maybe an hour and a half exactly when you've got your gear and you're carrying it up we like to have our luxury so it's a bit heavier mm -hmm. but today like I say we're stopping this pod we went on a big hike and it's white was oil. Like Ten and a half all together. You're the Chris, he's the fittest type of us all. And he's buggered. And he's wiped out. He's so, must be all the extra weight I've got on. Keeps me awake. Nah, anyway, man, me away. give me one. Have one last drink. Last. And then we'll, we'll give it a rating. We'll stop talking shite. Right, we'll score it. Mm -hmm. It's got a few lovely flavours and tastes there. Like I've already said, so I'm not going to repeat them because I can't remember. <laughs> um, yeah, very, very nice indeed. That's I'm going to give that a very, very good mm -hmm. 8.5 out of 10 dingo man dingoes. You better believe I am generous, generous indeed. Mm -hmm. I'll, um, I'll give it a not so generous, but generous for me. I'm not really keen on Scotch whiskies, but I'll give it a, a six point. Seven. Well, you're generous. Seven. Anyway, man, dingoes, there you go. That's nice. the end of this week's Waski review. Lovely. You know Strong what I'm talking about. Scotch whiskey. Oh. This is serious pod coming. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Right. Right, folks. It's two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I'm just making my way up with the toilets. Because I'm busting for a slash Gordon. The two Chris's are out for the count. Whew. You know, for some people, that might not be a, a big hike, but it was like 10 mile, obviously up and down, up and down. So that was that was a big hike for us. Definitely for me, because I'm I'm not as fit as them now. So we're absolutely worn out. Obviously, <laughs> them days asleep, so I've done well to stay up so long to tell you the truth earlier on I took a bit of a funny turn I think because I've done a bit too much on the hike um, and then a couple of cans a couple of whiskies, 
and I felt a bit funny. So I just lay down on my side. I didn't go to sleep and I just chilled out for a bit and started to pull myself around. So I didn't do any video on for about three hours. Anyway, I'm busting <laughs> for a slash. I'll see you in the bogs in two seconds. Oh yes. Air Matron. Oh yes. Alright guys. Well, I've had to come up here because the two Chris's, like I said, they're out for the count, fast asleep. So I don't want to be just sitting in there talking and waking them up. Um I know this sort of video will not be for everyone. Most people that watch my channel, they do so because of the stealth camping and then I've got a lot of people who watch for the wild camping as well. Um, what I'm going to see is the reason I chose this place to camp, not here in the toilet, in the pod. I forgot to see earlier on. We were at work last night till late, where me and uh, the older Chris were. So by the time I would have finished work, and got home and then emptied everything out my van, cleaned my van up, it would have just been a nightmare. So I thought, look, I'll book a pod, I'll not tell the lads, I'll give them a surprise and treat them just, just for something different. So, you know, it would have cost about £35 to put the van on an electric pitch in a caravan site, and it's cost £55 for this pod and I haven't had to fart on any in the van. So that to me, guys, makes a perfect plan, Dingo. Oh yes, you know it makes sense, man, Dingo. Anyway, before I go back down and get some sleep, because I'm knackered as well, I want to see a massive, ginormous thank you to everyone who has supported the Blood Outdoor Show this last week. Like I say every week, guys, I really do appreciate it. I know times is hard and for you guys to, you know, buy me a coffee or two coffees or five coffees. Someone this week bought 10 coffees. Unbelievable. I, I feel a bit embarrassed taking them, but honestly, I really do appreciate it. I really do appreciate it. Obviously, I've had a few whiskeys, so I'm not getting my words out properly. Cheers, everyone. There's your names down there and down there. I'm not going to ramble on too much. I normally do when I've had a good drink, but yeah, one more time. Thank you so much, everyone who has supported the Blood Outdoor Show this last, this last week. <laughs> I think it's definitely time to get some sleep. I've had too much drink, but I've had a great time. The two Chris's, I think them's had a good time as well. The whole day has been fantastic. Okay, the man dingoes, I will see you first thing in the morning at coffee time. You. Better believe I will. Oh yes, lice, two lice. Good morning, Mandingos. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> There's your coffee there, mate. Oh, yes. Bobbling, nice hot Bobbling coffee. Like. Good morning, guys. Lovely, fresh Sunday morning here in the Lake District. Feel great now. Oh, bit wrecked last night. Apologise for that. I think it was because we had one of these pods and we could just sit and chill and relax and have a few drinks. You know, when we're camping in the tents and that, you've got to be a bit more careful, obviously. Getting drunk <laughs> if you're in a tent. But this in the pod just meant we could let our hair down basically and have a good time 
but we didn't slaver on too much in the whiskey review. We probably did. But it's all a bit having a good time, isn't it, guys? Anyway, young Chris has just made me a coffee, so I'm going to go in and have that. I'll bring you back in a few seconds. Right folks, that's the end of this week's video. We've been up about an hour and a half. I've had a couple of coffees, so we're all feeling fresh. We're gonna go off now and get some breakfast. Find somewhere for breakfast, lads. Right, oh, yes. Two right, man, Dingoes. If you've enjoyed this video, I know it's a bit different what we normally do, but we just fancy treating ourselves, having a pod, and relaxing. Yep. Switch it up a bit. Sorry about I mean? the uh, whiskey review, but I was absolutely <laughs> smashed. <laughs> It's the what that's killed us off, yeah? Sorry, I didn't do the whiskey review. Uh, thank God. Yep, if you've enjoyed this video, guys, give us a <laughs> thumbs up. Leave a comment. I do read every one, and I'll try and get back to as many people as possible. The next three weeks, I'll be back out on stealth camps. I will see you there, Mandingos. You know it makes sense. Anything to say, lads? Right. We in right. <laughs> <laughs> See you next week. Oh, See you dude. next week. See you next week. See ya next, next week. Me. Right. Oh. Oh. Oh, Mason.